Cool. Oh my word, there's a few in chat already. I don't get to see that until I actually I get my screen, so it's quite odd. <laughs> sure, I'll bet Manic so that, Yeah, he is. Hi, Manic. <laughs> Eden Garrett. Um, Manic, you're always first. I don't know how you manage it. James, evening, James Castle. Um, Andy, Andy Harris. Lynn, good evening, Lynn. Simon. Uh, Manic again, Manic again, Lynn again, Simon again. Lovely. We're all good. And Kieran, good evening, Kieran. Yeah, good evening all. I think I was near enough on time tonight. I'm still a bit flustered. Every night is seems hard to to get here on time and get ready and sorted out. But I think we got there. And Rob, UK Vapester, how are you? Rob, you'll have to come on again. Do you want to come on? Are you ready? <laughs> come on tonight if you want. be quite nice to have someone on. Uh, James and Lynn again and Manic. Yeah, everyone's saying hello to everyone else. So we'll wait for, for Rob. He might want to come on. That would be quite good if he did. Curly Chew and Hazik. Is it Hazik? I... Oh, from Malaysia. Good evening and welcome. And Daniel. Good evening, Daniel. And Pav. Missed you, Pav. I didn't go to Expo. So uh, I, I assume you did. I think you did. I think I read somewhere that you'd gone. Uh, true, keep me company with a take on RY4. Right, okay. And Coil UK, good evening. James Bushell, good evening. Lovely, there's quite a few in chat. How many have we got? 22. Excellent stuff. Yeah, so what am I vaping on tonight? Um, should I do it in that order? Let's do it in a different order. I've had in the... Um, oh, you must be fed up with me teasing you about this by now. This is the new, for anyone who hasn't seen it, the Easy Stealth Mod by Ambition Vapes, and I'll talk about that later to tell, give everyone an update. I've normally got my true tank in here, but because I've been trying this reload all week, I showed it on the, on the show last week, thus I've had to find somewhere for my true tank. So we'll have a, have a vape on this first. Never mind saying hello to Manic UK Vape Start, Rob. <laughs> reply to me. Did he reply? Have I missed it? No, he hasn't replied. Come on, Rob. Are you coming on? How do you fancy it? Coil. Coil. Someone called Coil. Coil. Is that someone I know? Changed the, a name. Anyway, I've got the reload on here and been really enjoying it. I've got the... What have I got in here? Mango, peach and papaya. This reload is, is is good. It is now on the site as well, guys. So if you if you fancy having a go at one, it's it is top airflow, and I will be doing a review for it. But normally I don't like top airflow, but this is definitely the exception. Grey vapor. Good evening, uh, Pav. Let's put that up there. See, it tease us all. Yes, Mark. It was a good expo. We had a good time. Plenty to drink, Pev. <laughs> did you need a new drinking buddy? <laughs> so I assume you did. Pev would probably have got a thirst. Evening, David. Salford. And incidentally, David has just done a review. This was one of them. This is the Kona Packer. Let's put that up there so you can all see it. Come on, Mark. Focus it in. Kona Packer by Indigene. And David has just done... <coughs> A review on his channel of that so pop over and have a look interestingly David agrees with my taste on that it's three in the Rangers Kona Packer um, oh my word what are they Kona Packer Kona Packer oh do you know what I'll, I'll get there I'll, I'll remember but it's three in the range but in 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 order David, I think, like the same ones as me. But if you pop over and have a look, uh, you'll see. So, no, I think Rob's done it. I think he's done a runner. He didn't want to come on. <laughs> oh, Coil Proby, you've ch shortened your name, changed your pick. As long as I know who I'm talking to, that's good. That's good. <laughs> you should stick with Coil Proby. Yeah, you see, we'd have known then, wouldn't we? 
and everyone out and Dion good evening Dion right so what else am I vaping on well because I had the reload on here I had to find another home for my true tank so I've got that on the little I like this little mod it's the little tacket mini uh, show you the the bottom will it focus in yeah I think it is look tacket mini and that's another one of these little 18 350s with a MOSFET in the top it's real look at the size of that look how big that is it's tiny tiny uh christian put him on the screen christian hi everyone i hope you're all well and mark's still loving the zeus x great stuff i got a few at release the core's not lasting long but that's down to juice mine i'm <laughs> making up yeah i mean it came if you vapor a sweet juice with the juice with a lot of sweetener in you know that will affect that and they won't last that long <laughs> and Pav doesn't remember how or when he got back to his hotel room on Thursday so I guess it was the usual suspects there Pav I assume <clears throat> I know young Vic was there um, I think I saw Chris as well a picture of him I've seen a picture of a few people um, loving the oh right there you go yep Grey Vapor, loving the squonking with the re the Reload S is, I think, a, an amazing um, dripper. I think it's really good. I really like that. <laughs> yeah, but folk was calling me Coil. So, all right, okay. So everyone abbreviated you Coil. So you chose Coil for yourself. You, know, you couldn't have Coily, could you? Because that's that's Simon. So you were you'd had it there. Um, and Hazik, what mod are you holding using the eighteen three fifty? That was the it's the Tacket Mini. Uh, I did hold it up. Let's try it again. See if it will probably won't focus this time. There you go, Tacket Mini. Um, they are on our site. Um, they've got a little just. The vent holes are just a minus and a plus. And the little button at the top here, which for me is quite nice because I've got a numb thumb. I've got no feeling in the thumb. So I can at least feel that button. But yeah, it's great. It's great. And James Castle. Mark, do you feel the true excels with one liquid or the other, being fruit blends or desserty tobaccos? Certainly fruit. I mean, I vape my mango, peach and papaya through it most of the time. Um, but it also, it's... I haven't had that many desserty flavours through it, to be fair. But tobaccos, it also vapes quite well. Uh, well, very well, I would say. Grumpy old vapor. Morning, hello, grumpy. Morning, chaps. Just been watching my favourite comedy show. Oh God, Collins TV. They can't even decide on a date, can they? They even got to argue about that. <laughs> Never mind. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Daniel. We we're talking about the reload S. Um, yeah, the recurve. Very similar and. You see, shamefully, Daniel sent me this ages ago. And as you can see, it's still in the packet. He thought I would really enjoy it. And I'm sure I will. But I haven't... Well, to say I haven't had time would be a lie. Because I've had it months. <laughs> I will, Daniel. I promise, I promise, I promise. At least I haven't lied to you. And said, yeah, I tried it. It's all right, isn't it? <clears throat> At least I told you. Um, Pav, usual suspects, yes, two minute mention everyone, we had a really good time, even though Premier Inn didn't treat us very well this time. Oh, in what way, Pav? Didn't you have anyone <laughs> tell them their beer was good and they need to stay open late and <clears throat> ignore my vaping, it's just an illusion. <laughs> and Kieran... 
has put, yeah, bakeries and tobaccos are good on my true. So there you go. From And Kieran, I'll, I'll talk to you about another thing that I'm vaping on very shortly. In fact, let's go to that. The next thing I'm vaping on is the Dam Vape Diamond. Show you that one. It's got the airflow in the side. Dam Vape Diamond. Now I know Kieran got on really well with this. Um, where's the box? There's the box. Dam Vape Diamond. And I've been trying it for a few days, but I'm not going to lie, and I'm not going to dismiss it yet either I don't think I've tried it properly as yet I had the first three bills I put on it just poured juice all over the mod and I should have listened to Kieran he said make sure you pack those the big slits in here for the wick and I thought I had I, I did listen to you to a point Kieran I, I put plenty what I thought was plenty in there and it still leaked. I don't think the wicks were long enough. I think from what I can see, it has to all you have to be able to sort of see them in the bottom here, I think. But the other thing that I haven't tried yet is I've used a two and a half mil internal diameter coil. I think probably a three mil mouth to lung coil would be better in here. The flavour is is pretty good. But it's noisy, Kieran. Did you just... <laughs> I, I've watched Kieran's review, and he's done a review, a good review on this tank, on his channel. But I don't remember you saying it was noisy. But whether I've got the coil a bit too low to the, to the hole inside, I don't know. But have a listen. Now that, that's really... No, I know I drew on that quite heavily, but... It is pretty noisy, I believe. So, I mean, I, I respect Kieran's account of the Dan Vape Diamond, but maybe I haven't played around with it enough yet. But at the moment, it wouldn't hit one of my favourites to sort of keep in a rotation. Oh my word, let's put Grumpy's comment on there. It's just been voted on and gone to the Lords. 12th it is. So they're stuck with the 12th, have they? But I think there was some argument that... Uh, was it Labour won the 9th and so did Liberals? Uh, but they were worried the students couldn't vote or something. I think I heard that in the car. Yeah, thanks Daniel, you like reminded me. Yeah, well one day I'm going to try it. See, well, I was going to say you'll have nothing to pick on me for, but you will. And James, uh, my true tank has never let me down, never had any leaks, and is a true mouth to lung, unlike most of the other ones I've tried. Thanks, James. Yeah, um, well, I'm not, <laughs> not going to disagree with that comment, but it's, it is, I know it's my tank, but it is the one constant I've always had, is a true tank laying around that I regularly go to and eat. If you think about it, psychologically, if you have three or four tanks sitting in front of you, don't think about what you're vaping. Just vape away and after a while think, yeah, which one's got the least juice in? It's, it's whatever. It might happen to be, you know, your damn vape diamond. You might like that the most. And you'll think, yeah, subconsciously, I, I pick this one up. This must be my favourite because I pick it up more than anything else. So... Um, what, 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 what? Grumpy Old Vapor, got those SBSs in yet, Mark? I pointed a couple of people to you that were looking. SBSs, SBSs. What are SBSs? Just tell me what SBSs are. Am I thick? Have I, have I not worked something out? Come back to me, Grumpy, tell me. Pav. They shut the bar way too early. Shocking. <laughs> Food orders were late or mixed up. Yeah, equally shocking. Uh, we were constantly told to go and vape in the smoking shelter on Friday night. They told us they all calling the old bill without warning. Oh my word. The vaping police. <laughs> 
the year, or it wasn't the year, it was in March when I went and I was enjoying a few frothy bevies with Pav. We got on well with the bar staff. The lady did look after her beer lines very well, I felt. Um, it was a nice pint of beer. And we, we sat in the the room. There's the bar. And we sat on the next bit and vaping away. And they were just waving and smiling at us. We, you know, we weren't... But saying that, we were on like mouth-to-lung style devices, but we weren't blowing clouds. But yeah, they were really good. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Kieran, what size girls are you? No! <laughs> Just a two and a half mil. Nope, needs a three mil. There, yeah, that's what I said. Mine can be noisy if it's open, but screwed in halfway, it's fine for me. And stuff those ports. Yeah, there you go. He says pretty much what I said. So if anyone else has got a damn vape diamond and they're having a bit of a struggle, stick a three mil internal uh, coil, three mil internal diameter coil in there. Manic, the 12th of what? <laughs> What's it, January? No, it's um, it's December, isn't it? I think, 12th of December, that they want to have a general election. Yeah, i got a fiver, says it won't cure anything. <laughs> 45, says Salford, and only eight thumbs, or 17 now, David, so I must be behind in chat, as per. Oh yeah, Grumpy's just said December. Um, yeah, Manic, it's the the let's put it up. Manic, the extension uh, is January uh, from the EU, but they want a general election in this country for to see if which um, party are going to lead the country. It could be someone completely different. Um, oh right, oh dear, oh see, now why am I so stupid? Grumpy old vapour, it was me being thick, of course it is, Cyberside. Yeah, I'll I'll get on to, you're talking about this one, aren't you? The Ambition Mods Cyberside. I'll come back to that in a little while, there is some news, um, but I'll come back to that. Uh, Daniel Cyberside, yeah right, I was being thick. <laughs> Oh, there you go. Kieran's vaping his damn vape diamond now. Uh, 28 gauge canthal in a 3mm and at about 1.3 ohms. Yeah, I and mean, I've got this at... Um, sorry. Yeah, 1.3 ohms. I've got a 0.95 ohm coil in this at 13 watts. But, it, you know, I've tried the airflow. It's noisy. I think maybe I've got the coil a bit low to the, the deck. So that's probably what's making it noisier. Well, that is noisy. Have I got a little screwdriver? There's one on here. Let's see if I can turn that in a bit. That'll be a slight delay, guys. <laughs> Still noisy. Still no, it doesn't matter where I put it. Very noisy tank. I'll try the coil higher, Kieran, and a 3mm coil. I'm going to move that out of the way because tonight it's not my favourite. Chunk, how are you? Um, yeah, evening chunk, evening chunk, evening chunk. Everyone's evening chunk, 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 chunk. Um, oh, there you go. Wow, chunk, that was cheap. Early night before I go, bargain of expo, picked up two K fun three points for two pound each. I mean when I went in March I definitely didn't have any bargains. Um was that a little bit different this time? Oh right, okay, yeah, Pav says it was definitely different this time. A few people mentioned change of venue for next Yeah, it's no fun, is it? Half the point of Expo is meeting up with all the guys in it, the gang. So if you're going to meet up and then get treated badly at the hotel and don't do this and shut the bar early and call the police on you, who wants to stay there? So, 
Yeah. And Grumpy Old Vapor side by side. Yeah, it's the Ambition Mods Easy mod. I don't know why they called it Easy. Someone's going to rename that, aren't they? The Trollop or something like that. You know, or, <laughs> or worse. <laughs> Um, chunk, you can see, yeah, you can, you can sniff a bargain out from miles away. And Garrett, have you met any American reviewers at the expo? I didn't go, Garrett, to this one, um, but did I meet any? No, I didn't, no, not when I went last time. Privacy Smith, good evening, and my phone is on, let me turn that off. Turn it on silent. There you go. Sorry about that. Keith. Good evening, Keith. And Raspar. Uh, authentic, though. Authentic, though? Oh, what the K-Funds probably is talking about. That wasn't a message from... No, it wasn't. No, it's okay. I wonder if it was Rob saying, let me on. But I think he just hopped on and hopped off, didn't he? <laughs> if you're there, Rob. Did you or didn't you? Oh, <clears throat> uh, right, okay, that's, that's important. Let's put it on there. Uh, Kieran, yeah, that's a bit more noisy than mine. My coil is raised about 3 mil high, which is my normal for all mouth to lung votes. No, mine's, mine's only about a mil, Kieran. So I think that's probably what it is. I did say that I probably haven't played about with it enough. There are some tanks you get and you just like sling a coil in you wick them and they just they work and whether perhaps i should have known better because they are massive slits for the for the wick um that perhaps i should have and i was warned by kieran <laughs> fill those holes <laughs> but i didn't well obviously not enough um, so Pav says that Mike Vapes was there, Brian from the Vapor Chronicles, um, Bogan, yeah, I saw Bogan was there, uh, Grim Green and Twisted Messes. And I saw Grim Green was there because he was full of pictures, like sending back to the States, look, this is how the UK are celebrating vaping, what's up, what's up with us? So, yeah. <laughs> James, <laughs> when I started to read that, I thought, no, he's always asking me about a pod. And then, then I suddenly thought, no, he's pulling me leg. And I got to the end, you are. Any pod reviews going up, Mark? I feel there's been a lack of them on YouTube. Yeah, I could do with getting rid of a few subscribers. <laughs> I'll do a load of pod reviews. <laughs> um, yeah, no, no pod reviews. Talking of subscribers, which I was, I'm going to put this up. Just a massive, massive thank you. I mentioned last week I was close to my 3,000. Um, I've now hit 3,007. I'm astounded and, and grateful. It's unbelievable. You know, when I first started this channel, which was mainly just a like an instruction of you've, you've bought this and this is how you put a coil and wick in it. It was more for my customers than anything else so that when I got emails I could just refer them to a video and put a video on the site but it's kind of got a bit more than that isn't it it's a way of me keeping in contact with you know some some of my customers and you know it's great so yeah brilliant now where's that then <laughs> is it that one yeah <laughs> I thought I was going to turn something else off then uh, rather than that, the picture. <coughs> Pav, thank you for the code at work. I didn't really expect it to. Oh, that's good. Privacy Smith is thanking Pav. Ah, oh, there you go, you see. Two experienced old vapors like Kieran and I, and he got flooded in the first few times as well. I think it was three times I wicked that, and I thought it must be enough this time. And filled out the juice. And the juice just ran down the down the mod, and I don't know about anyone else. I I think it's in 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 my makeup somehow that I I can't stand e liquid on my fingers. I get like ah, I get quite irritable about it. 
and a leaky tank nothing's worse is it not in my book so yeah it was annoying me a bit and grumpy old viper missed just right one was there a launch of a mouth to a launching of a mouth to lung what the expo don't know um yeah oh, that's kieran replying to james thanks manic um congrats on 3k yeah I mean, it's it doesn't seem a lot when you, when you look at a lot of other channels that hit the 40 50 60 30, 70 thousand subscribers and I watched a uh, or saw a thumbnail on YouTube for will my dog recognize me if I walk past him in a park or something and it had, had some like a million people <laughs> watch it and I thought you know it's it's obviously you know the vaping stuff it is a bit more niche isn't it you know it's not uh, and certainly not appealing to like kids that will share it with all the mates but you know I'm I'm well, well happy with 3,000 and, you know, I'm just, you know, amazed really. It's brilliant. Thanks, Kieran. Uh, Kieran's saying well done. Um, oh, David. Well done, Mark. Mine's going the other way. I do notice sometimes, David, I'll do a live show and I actually lose subscribers through the live ones. I gain them through the products but lose them on the subscribe on the uh sorry on the live shows which is quite odd um but and mate you do quite a bit of live stuff david so maybe you had the same thing <laughs> pab is unsubscribing now pab I, i'm just picking something up for you <laughs> ah there it is <laughs> oh dear you. i'm sure you wouldn't do it pab Sure you wouldn't do it. <laughs> Garrett, thanks very much, Garrett. Um, Andy Harris. Uh, oh, well, congrats on the... Oh, 3K. DS... Oh, D, uh, probably DJS, I would have thought. Mentioned it in a comment the other day, but I forgot to say congrats to it. Oh, thanks, Andy. Lovely. Yeah, he did. Yeah, Daniel mentioned it on... Um, one of my, I think it was last week's live actually. Oh, and Andy's changed it, DJS. Yeah, so he did mean that. <laughs> Grumpy old vapor. <laughs> well deserved, but I'm joining Pev. Can't have you getting too big for your boots. No, absolutely not. No. <laughs> um, and this it was just showing off the homage, whatever that is. Oh right, I, I I don't know. I don't know. That's probably an in in chat chat. Shall, shall we say? Grumpy, Mister Just Right was there, but I didn't get a chance. Oh, he's talking about Expo. Okay, ah, uh, do you know what? Privacy Smith, put that up there. I couldn't agree with you more. Um, oh, I must be a grumpy old vapor as well. It's just it's too much, isn't it? It's too in your face. You know the the. You know the music. I know I'm old, but really loud music, and sometimes you just—I know it's down the other end, and you can go and look at the stuff, but it's still, still loud. They yeah, asked me into my grump. <laughs> um, Kieran, he says he was chuffed to hit his ten hundred thousand views. Yeah, well done, Kieran. Um, Kieran's a mystery channel to me. I don't understand why. He hasn't got more subscribers, so and I keep I keep trying for you, Kieran. Everyone, get over there, have a look, see what he does. If you want to know about e-liquid flavors and in probably in particular mouth to lung, you won't probably find a better source to find out about it. So give him a look. And yeah, as David quite rightly says, he's shite. <laughs> he's not. He's lovely, David. Lovely old boy. Um, uh, Curly Chew. Watofo said they're unveiling a new unveiling a new product, but pulled it back. Oh, did they? Weird. And they've just come out with a new 
mouth to lung dripper I think I think they have anyway I'm getting delayed and I haven't mentioned anything else on vaping so put them to one side there's only one more really another new product well I'm on the the Bantam with my Kona Packer in there and the other thing that I'm vaping which came through there you go look at that the glass mouth to lung that's in short version mode uh, where am I going with that there you go unlike the damn vape diamond I slung a coil in this wicked it and it's just it was right first time <laughs> so a bit more um, lenient shall we say with your coil build but and smooth listen full of flavor really enjoying this really am enjoying it it's I, when I first saw it it's got quite a big like air air hole under the under the coil and I thought no 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 it's not going to be intense enough and I, I was that almost put me off buying it but having tried it 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 is good it's very good so I don't know if anyone in chat has got one of these the um where is it steam crave glass there you go glass mouth to lung rta and in with it <coughs> you get the extension and all spare spare glass etc etc i've got another frog tonight <coughs> have a good clear hopefully it'll go and well done kieran's and, and bless you lynn yeah, no he's not he's not shy is he? he's lovely david and it, again does a you know it, a good review on juices and, and a lot of knowledge there with david if something's not very good he'll point out why so yeah very good <laughs> dear <clears throat> my face does not fit no beard no well i haven't got a beard and i haven't got a cap <laughs> so you know it's not all about a beard and a cap or tattoos i haven't got tattoos either we're non-standard but a cap that's flat cap he's flat caps all right he's lovely lovely chap and curly chew there you go plus one for kieran's reviews yeah kieran is a vc for anyone that i'm sure everyone does know but for anyone who doesn't <laughs> Kieran, <laughs> David, no, I just knock it. <laughs> David doesn't mind. He likes it. Just laughing a joke. And John of the Island, I would just like to say thanks for replying to my email about my question on what wattage to vape different ohms at. Yeah, I remember your um, email, John. Lovely. Yeah, thank you. That was basically for mouth to lung in, wasn't it? And I think uh, I think John was a little bit confused that he'd perhaps seen <clears throat> some YouTube um, reviews, and some people do. I mean, I watched one on... What did I watch it on? I think it was the Reload. Um, and the guy had a 0.4 ohm coil in there saying what a good mouth to lung tank it was, and vaping at a... I'm going to say 30 something watts and I thought he's just he's lost the point of this completely and he's a reviewer so you know if you're going to send out messages like that as a reviewer you're just going to confuse the public so hopefully John now has a you know it wasn't a complicated email it was just a <clears throat> just a little nudge in the right direction David I'm not putting that one on the screen language there's a <laughs> yellow card. <laughs> oh dear. And Coil UK. There you go. ABC, just well done, Coil UK. Let's put it up there. Just subscribe. It's, it's you know, it's, I think you'll enjoy it, Coil UK. Very knowledgeable. God, everyone's teasing me tonight, aren't they? Daniel, lenient mark or foolproof? Are you talking about the glass, are you, Daniel? 
Um, and Kieran, you've got glass on the way, have you, Kieran? Through Vape Sigger. I'll probably end up um, stocking the glass. We've got the reloads. They're in stock in black, stainless steel, and gold. They're here and you know physical. But I don't like to stock anything until I've tried it. And I do like the glass, so I think I'll be stocking them. But I won't have them, not going to lie, it won't be for probably at least two weeks. <laughs> Manic. <laughs> Need to give Mark a snapback cap. Do you know what? I have tried using wearing caps. I just look a muppet. More so than without one. <laughs> Kieran's got a whole hell of a lot of tattoos just well hidden. <coughs> and now Michael Sherrington just subscribed to it. This might as well be the AVC channel. I'm getting all these subs, look. Well done, Michael. Uh, John Nash, good evening, John. Um, Hope you're all good. Yeah, well, we hope you're good, John. I uh, hope the, the op was successful and you're coming on leaps and bounds. And everyone's out. I've caught up. I've caught up. <coughs> right, what else have I got to tell you? There was something else. Oh, yes. The Ambition Mods. I was going to give you an update, wasn't I? Um, right, there was a slight delay in them being sent. I've put my order in it's paid for it's all done and as soon as their batch is ready they will get sent to me but I did actually do and I would try and show you but it was a general email answering questions I wonder if I can just read in fact what I could do no I'm not going to try that I'm going to attempt fate that would probably crash the page or something Easy mod. I sent out. I've been inundated with emails about the easy mod. When's it coming? Am I stocking it? You know, is there a DNA version at the start? Things of that sort. So my response was, um, and I've actually put this is a general response to inquiries about the easy mod to respond to some of the popular questions I've had about the product. Yes, we're stocking the Easy Mod. That's a question I get. I get emails that are just like text messages. Are you stocking the Easy Mod? <laughs> so yes, we are. Uh, the Ambition Mods chip will arrive first, and we'll also stock the DNA version once it's available. The Ambition Mods chip is coming first. They will be doing a DNA chip for it. I understand, though, it won't have a USB port. God, this throat is really annoying me. <coughs> Let me have a drink. Um, it, yeah, it won't have that port, I don't think, to go into Wescribe. On the hard stuff tonight. Squash. Um, the Easy Mod should be dispatched to us at the end of October. So there you go. They told me they were sending it at the end of the month. So that's near enough now so I'm expecting any day and we're not offering a pre-order option for the easy mod a lot of people have asked if they can do a pre-order which is fair enough but I could have done a pre-order but I don't essentially like pre-orders is one thing and my new website in inverted commas I thought it'd be my luck to start a pre-order and then flick over the new site and it'll be a bit messy so that's part, another part of the reason uh, we have a lot of stock coming, so anyone who wants one shouldn't be disappointed. And we have got a lot of stock. Don't worry about ordering it in the first day or two days, because I did order a lot. Because I know it's going to be a very popular product. Um, and as soon as it arrives, I'll put a message on Nature Vape Facebook page, Twitter page, and announce it on my Tuesday night YouTube show. Uh, and then sorry this message was a bit impersonal but it was just I was finding myself replying it one by one it takes forever um, you know I, I welcome emails I sent the only way people un, you know can understand and know things but so hopefully I've also answered 
all your questions on here about it. Now, what have I missed in chat? Um, I think, man, what's that? Anyone who wears them? Oh, is that snapback? Yeah, so does everyone who wears them. Yeah, I, th I think they can look a bit strange, can't they? Uh, Demon Hunter Vapes. Uh, what about the vape fly Brunhard and uh, mouth to lung tight? Any plans in stock in that one? I haven't tried that one. That's quite a that's quite a big tank, isn't it? Even even the mouth to lung one, I think, are still quite a, a cheap, big, chunky tank. Um, I might well buy one um, and try it if I can't get sent one. Uh, I did get Vapefly used to send me all their things, and I haven't got any. Yes, I have. In the last lot of things they sent me was the. Perhaps that's why they don't anymore. I had a bit of a bit of a go at them because they had. They sent this thing, uh, the build kit, which is actually quite a nice little kit, but you know, then they sent a coily rip off in it, and I, I, I can't really guess. I, you know, I can understand why, but you know, I think I think I said something to them about it. So perhaps I'm out of favour. Who knows? Um. Ooh, look at that! Look, John Nash, you'll be getting a little parcel in a few weeks. Drake's are sending out the entire tobacco fusion range. Wow. Grumpy old vapor. What is the shortest tank do you think would be suitable? Right, well the easy mod is was that about 29mm? Let me have a look. Try and do it with it. I I used to have another camera here where I could click cameras and put it on the deck. But I I only have one Camlink lead. So now I'd now use a different camera, so I'll probably get another lead, another cam link. So the height of that, and I'll hold it up so you can all see. Up, 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 up. Yeah, it's it's 29, maybe 30. Come on, Mark, get a grip. Yeah, 30. It's 30, I would say. It's 30 from the tank base to the top here. On the black bit so I mean I think the <clears throat> the reload looks pretty good on it and what I also obviously like come on come on come on come on what I also like is that because it's top airflow and it takes its airflow right at the very top you can grip it however you like and it's not affecting the airflow you're not going to cover anything So I like that part of it, but yeah, there you go, 30 mils. So the reload looks good on it. <clears throat> the true tank, let's put that on there. Trouble is you don't want too tall a tank on it because it can look a bit silly. You're defeating the idea of a stealth mod then I think, aren't you? thought my frog had gone that seems to be coming back right there you go so there's the true tank and again <clears throat> hold that in a way there you go it just comes over the true tank over the top but not by much so and again you know it's vapes nicely on there so go back to the reload. So the shortest tank, I guess, um, a 35 mil tall one from the tank base, not the 510, to the to the top. I'm covering that, aren't I? So from the top here to the bottom here, probably 35 mil. So just measure your tank. Grumpy old vapor. What were you thinking of putting on there then? Is there, did you have a, a plan in mind? Obviously the glass won't, well it will fit, 
let's take the glass off as well. It's going to be too short, but don't forget the glass has got an extension. Keep getting these news flashes out about the. <laughs> so, what's the glass? Is that 24 mil in diameter? I think so. So there's there's the glass. So it's a bit short, like that. But I mean, you could use it. I've covered the airflow. What we've we done? I've moved the airflow. Bear with. Right, the smallest. I like this this one on the third hole, on the middle hole. Yeah. So it, you know, it would would go on there, but I think perhaps a little bit short. You can also get um, like adapters as well. So if you've got something really short, you could, you know, raise it slightly. Right, I've got tanks everywhere now. So get rid of Grumpy's comment. Bosh. Asphodel, good evening. Late to the party. <laughs> Don't worry about it. You're here. <laughs> You're probably going to ask a question that we've already spoken about or something. And John saying that thanks to Idol in chat and thanks for your kind words. Well, hopefully, John, you could answer us if you're much improved. A yes or a little or no. But, you know, we've been talking to you for a long time now, Josh. You're, uh, Josh, John, you're a customer as well. Um, you know, it's nice to know if you're getting on any better. Oh. Oh, and he has answered, I just hadn't got there quick enough. Having problems with my right hand. And that was part of my neck problem. John, I've got numb thumb and these two fingers. Uh, just You could almost get them in a pair of pliers and I wouldn't feel it. You know, it's it's quite quite a strange thing. <laughs> Asphodel was... Marriage counselling. <laughs> yeah, we'll let you off that one. He said sorry. <laughs> That's a good question. Garrett, uh, do you still vape direct lung? I only vape direct lung because I vape without nicotine. That's difficult for me with mouth to lung. I do occasionally, Garrett, still drink... Drink? Vape direct lung. Um... I really have gone more in preference to mouth to lung though. I really have. Um, I had a direct lung tank here. I've actually just given it away. Um, that was a stock coil tank. So, sorry, I'm just changing the airflow back on my true tank as well now. Um, but yeah, I, I still do. And there are some flavours I think are, are probably better in direct lung and it's still nice to have that option but I just find myself vaping more mouth to lung and the benefits are for me anyway things like my, my car the windscreen don't get when you vape direct lung in the winter especially you know if you haven't driven at night in your car for a little while and then you drive home at night you think like ever's up I can't see and it, it this is like this haze on the inside of the windscreen but yeah, yeah, so still enjoy it, but um, definitely my preference is for mouth to lung at the moment. That might change again, but I don't think it will. I don't think so. John's worried he hasn't said hello to everyone. We know, John, don't worry about it. Uh, I think he did. So John says hello to all, everybody. Um... Kieran, was there talk once about the Easy having a stock chip and a di yeah, that's right, Kieran. It's got this is this one in here. This isn't the DNA chip here. Come on, focus, focus. There you go. That's their own chip. 
I have to say it looks very much like a DNA chip and it vapes very well. In fact, when I let's fire it up, one, two, three, four, five. So I thought that turned it off. Five turns it on. Read the manual mark. That's locked. I know what we'll do. So if we can do this quickly. Right, once you change the battery, you have to then five click it. Right, let's see if we can get this right. Ambition Mods comes up really quickly. So this one is their own chip. Um, and that's the one they're coming out with first. That's the one on the site. The DNA version is coming after. So uh, what that's going to look like. It won't look a lot different to that, will it? And to be fair, I've had no issues with this chip at all. But I know some people do like a DNA chip. So I do understand that. James, James Castle. I can't seem to find much info on the Easy. Is it a single 18650? May I ask a retail price? Bear with me, James. Oh my word. What's going to happen if I do this? Let's have a go. I haven't got a clue what you can see on the screen now. But I'm trying to get on my website. Uh, now I've got those other screens everywhere. Bear with me a second. Go back to that. See the problems you cause? <laughs> back to this one. <laughs> oh, that's a bit of fun, isn't it? <laughs> back to that again. Oh my word. Uh, that's probably there under new, isn't it? Amateurs, amateur. Here it is. Here it is. Right there, you go. Right now, back to that. Now I'm going to give. Is it this one? Way there we go. Didn't take long, did it? <laughs> <laughs> it's made a little circle though. It's fifty-seven ninety-nine. There it is on the Nature Vape website. Uh, easy side by side, sixty watt, out of stock as you can see. Um, I've moved the wrong sheet. Whoops! I should have been on this one. And all the details are on there. So I don't know. Perhaps um, one of my spanners, Daniel. Maybe you'll be kind enough to put a link. In the in the comments for people to see it. Right, finally I've got back to the right screen now. Now I've got to move chat back over. You, I've got all these things on my screen. I'll just shuffle them around to get to that point. But there you go, James. Hopefully that answers your question. Is it a single eight eighteen six fifty? Yes, it is. And when they land, they should be sent to me at the end of the month, which means I normally get them about three or four days after that. So early part of uh, November should get them. I'll definitely get them before we leave the EU. <laughs> um... Grumpy old vote. Oh right, you were thinking of using a 28 mil. Yeah, that won't work. Um, 28 mil. They'll take up to 24 mil in diameter um, tank, so that won't work. Grumpy old vapor. Bristol vapor. <laughs> Clean it up. <coughs> you could use yeah. Oh right, okay, grey vapour, uh, put that one on there. You could use heat sinks from Amazon to raise it up, cost about two quid on the side by side. The only thing 
I would say some of the heat sinks are they vary in quality and uh, just be careful of some of the really cheap ones because I had a I personally had a problem with with one of those um, and it shorted so yeah just be a little bit careful and <laughs> Kieran, you're joining in now with Bristol. Behave. <laughs> Asphodel, put that one up there. Received a clone reload mouth to lung RTO a few days ago. It was my first mouth to lung device try ever. So I didn't want to invest much. Not sure if mine is blocked or something, but I'm really not a fan of that vape. Blocked. 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 Um, all I'd say, I mean, the airflow is this top ring here so I mean if I let's loosen that all the way you can't see what I'm doing but I'm just anti-clockwise that top ring and you can see the hole can you see the hole now at the top there I think there's four of them there's another one that side is there keep going yeah there you go another hole there and that now will be very loose. You could almost direct lung that. You can direct lung that. So I don't know why yours would be um, blocked. Maybe it is because it's you know, I'm not going to preach on about clones and who am I to, but maybe it is, maybe it is a faulty one or I think I saw on a picture of one of the clones that had a hole in this ring here and that isn't obviously what the originals got. So are they a direct clone, a copy or not? That's too tight. You can turn it right down this thing. <clears throat> And I've obviously missed. All oh, right, Curly Chew is saying that they should work the heat sinks. Very similar. I don't know what Kieran means. Michael Marker, good evening. Pav, let's put that one on the screen. I I couldn't agree more, Pav. If I can get your comment up. What's the point of an expensive DNA chip if you can't use eScribe? A regular version for me. I think the one thing about DNA chips is they will read your coil accurately and the wattage you put in them is accurate as to the wattage you get out of them. So I get that. But if the other chip behaves accurately and well, then I, I agree with you. But if it's, you know, it depends what you're comparing it to. But this is, this is a decent chip. You know, I've, I've been, there is no puff counter on here. I'm sure there isn't. No, but I've been, I've been vaping this since the day I got it. And I've had no issues whatsoever. So, yeah, much as it's, I think sometimes people are, oh, DNA chip. I think it's, you know, it's almost, you're a peasant if you if you have anything else but you know for me then like the billet boxes it doesn't bother me whether i pick up the sxk chip or a dna it doesn't bother me at all <clears throat> asphodel and curly tubers think the same dna mod mods without usb should have bluetooth module it's very small. Really, I'd, I'd see now I didn't know that. Every day is a school day. I didn't know that. So I know that I think they're having a, a bit of an issue fitting it and I don't know why. And Kieran, DNA or not, still going to buy one. Not into temperature control. Do DNA is not that important. Oh, right. So I think you went to say, Kieran, DNA is not that important. James Castle, most serious apologies. What's that about? <laughs> I don't know what he said. 
Didn't say anything, did you? <laughs> I think he's still laughing. Keith. Mark, as I only vote Kenthel, is there any point in having a DNA chip mod? Again, you're not into temp control with, with Kenthel, you're just into wattage mode. And if you're not into plugging it in on eScribe and putting like Keith or something and fancy writing on the chip, then personally, I would say no, save yourself some money. And um, yeah, John, so snap, Mark, but I've got a long way to go. Yeah, it's, I mean, it is what it is, John. It's, you know, <laughs> you get used to it. When, when my hand was first numb, I'd go to the pub or something and I'd pick up a glass and it just dropped straight through my hand. Or I'd pick up something like an egg to fry it and I'd crush it. You know, it, it's like you, it's, you do get used to it, honestly. It's like, you learn somehow i don't know how and and also nerves do repair so you know you, you sometimes get a bit more back than you think you're going to get and power only votes wattage <coughs> avc another vape channel no hurry i don't know what that is but i told everyone to subscribe to kieran but also Go and give David a look, Salford. He gets lonely. Give him a look and give him a little sub. He'll like that. Um, right, Asphodel. That's obviously, Asphodel's a DNA f fan. Um, I think DNA chips have a good efficiency stroke battery life. Yeah, that's a, a good point. Good curve mode, maybe. Never use Oh, right, you've never used it. So you're not a fan. <laughs> you never used one. Um, yeah, they... The battery life is also something. Some mods with other chips, you think, I barely use this and the battery's flat, you know, so that can be a factor, but that's not, you know, something I've had from this. <clears throat> oh, I see. James didn't realise it was visible on the site. That's all right, not a problem. My poor advertising, as always. <laughs> Matt Benson, good evening. Thanks, Daniel, for putting the link in chat. Uh, yeah, there's a discount code too. Um, perhaps that. Oh, there you go. Daniel's already put it in. Grumpy old. Oh, 28 mil tool. Sorry, Grump. Yeah, well, I'd looked at that and I thought, you know, what you were saying, I thought, well, that's not that wide. So, yeah, well, that's 28 mil tool. So that will be, yeah, that'll be all right. I think that'd be fine. How tall is this glass that I put in there? Let's give that a rough measure. Well, that's only 26, I think. And you saw what that looked like. So um, I think that should be fine. Michael Marker. Do you know what? I've just read my eyes feel like they're streaming. I've just read I've got the wrong glasses on, so I'm struggling. Anyway, the right ones there. I might put them on in a second. Have you tried that Haku Ziti yet, Mark? Yes, I have. Um, yeah, and I like it. It's good. Yeah, it's very good. <clears throat> have I got anything with it in here? No, because I've got the crossbow in the Bantam and I've got the Zeta in the billet box downstairs. I'm still trying to remember what the other juice is. Kona Packer, because that's my favourite. Tamahack, that's another one. Tamahack and the other one is a funny name like XEP LIA or something and it, I've probably got that wrong but that's more of a perfumey juice and I, you know, I didn't like that one so much um, I was just reading here some of these I think are just talking in chat Curly Chew there you go DNAs are really efficient really happy with my 75 and 75 C's they are efficient. Um, I have to say I had a squonk mod with a 75C in and it never was right from day one. So they're not infallible. 
Um, but yeah, when they work, they are a steady, reliable chip. So yeah, I can't argue with that. John's off. His painkillers are kicking in. Thank you, John. Take care. Nice to see you. Uh, Asphodel. Yeah, I know about the airflow ring, but having these three holes quarter or fully open. Oh, I see. Yeah, we were talking about the reload, weren't we? Quarter or fully open feels the same. I think. Yeah, it's blocked then. Yeah, as you say, cheap machining work. Um... It's definitely blocked because I've, you probably saw me after I opened that. I had to keep fine tuning it to get mine right again, and it's still not quite. That's a little bit tight on that. Too tight. <laughs> I'm only turning it a fraction, Asphodel. So yeah, it's the clone, I reckon. Hop on my site by the by the right one. <laughs> There's nothing right. They are. A very, very good tank indeed, in my opinion. Uh, Grumpy Old Vapor, he tries and only buys DNAs. You see, and there's a lot of people like you, Grumpy Old Vapor, that swear by DNA chips, and you can't dispute that they are accurate and good. So I don't blame you for that. If that's what you're used to, you'll be used to all the menu. Fair enough. And Pav, yeah, and again, another good point the other way. Um, Killer, but the efficiency worth the extra pound. Escribe is a big selling point for DNA. Don't understand why no USB. A lot of a lot of them don't. If there's no room to put it, Pav, um, they won't put them in. A bit like the early billet boxes. Is this one a DNA? Yeah, that's a DNA 60 in here. Yeah, and there's no, they do now. There's the, sorry, it's me playing around with it. That one's the DNA 60 board. You'll see how similar that is. There, look, how similar does that look to the one, the chip? Let's see if I can do this at the same time. There you go. How similar is that? It's laid out virtually the same, isn't it? But this one is a DNA 60. I'm sure it is. One, two, three, four, five. Turn it off. Oh, check out miser. Yeah, but it is. I know when I fired it up, it said DNA. And normally on the billet box, the USB would be here. And this one hasn't got it. The early, the newer ones have, the later ones have, but this one hasn't got it. So, you know, there's there's a lot of people probably quite used to having something without that chip. Put that back. That's in my my nice little leather case for that for the billet box. I love that case. Uh, Matt Benson. Only problem with DNA 75 is the e-scribe profiles needed to get stainless steel 316 working right. The built-in one is rubbish. Oh, right. I mean, the, the one I had a faulty one with, it just would not read the coil properly. Um, and I tried going into e-scribe, setting the room temperature, the mod temperature. I, I tried everything. It just wouldn't work. And that was a paranormal, actually. And I got one, another one out of the box, thinking, you know, maybe it is faulty. After hours of going through it, and the other one worked perfectly. So it was a faulty one. In fact, I don't think I ever did send that back. Everyone saying good night to John. And Carol, good evening, Carol. Nice looking for the, no, no looking for the DNA sixty. Yeah, and they will, they will do it. I'm sure, but I, I mean, I wondered because I even asked the question: Is this the DNA sixty chip? Because it looked the layout is just identical. What have I done to that? That's far too tight. <laughs> I 
get in the middle of the night. Two open, I'll get it right in a minute. Fine tuning. Um, curly Chew. Not seen you on here before, I don't think. Carol, welcome. Welcome to the channel if you're new. Um, I was writing what Mark said. Accuracy is on coils and wattage output. Oh, right, said so, sorry. <laughs> you were writing what I was saying. Matt Benson, now there's see now there's a chip I haven't even tried and really want to, and you're teasing me again because I do want that their mod actually looks a bit like this, doesn't it? Tell them to put the die codes in it and they can charge hundred pound more. Yeah, I mean it's and it would be. Not a chip I've tried, it's supposed to be a really good chip. It's supposed to be. Giants over half for the inconvenience of you having to search for the retail price on easy. Oh, yeah. Um, that was the apology. Yeah, I get you. Curly Chew. The Steamboat Willy screen is the best bit about DNI 75. <laughs> I don't even know what that is. I thought the, the DNA 75, <coughs> that's the coloured screen, isn't it? Presumably someone's done. Uh, one you can load on it, I guess. Oh, well, I've got to put that one on there. Vaping with James. Good evening, James. Uh, I'm truly surprised this channel doesn't have more subscribers because this channel is great. That's very nice of you to say so. Thank you. We don't do drama, just friendly chat, and sometimes I'm a bit slow, but I get there. Paul, have you tried the QP Gata yet? No, I haven't, Paul, but... I do want to, I think from what I've read, the airflow might be a bit loose for me. I think don't think they restrict them down that much. I could have got that wrong, but yeah, I'd quite like to try that. In fact, I'd very much like to try that. Uh, thank you, Salford. See, we're both old and Salford got there before me. Paraxu, that was what it is. I was close, but I can't remember what I said now. But that... Um, juice. It's got like a, a scented, perfumey. It reminds me of rose petals for some reason, um, and it's it's not for me that one. But we all like different things, you know. And some people love it. I know they do, but it's not my my cup of tea. Um, Grumpy old vote, were you having what looked like battery problems with your DNA 75C mark? This was when they first came out, Grumpy, and it it wasn't so much battery problems. It, it wouldn't read the coil, I think. It was like sending it all over the place. I'd have a vape, and because it wasn't reading the ohms right, it would give me a, a, like a burnt hit and all sorts. Uh, I just think it was a faulty chip. It was genuinely a faulty chip. <laughs> exactly Mark. I should have just got a proper one <laughs> totally my fault for that can't blame this this product yeah and it, that is the trouble a lot of the clones are very similar and you know you can't in some cases tell the difference and that, that's fair enough but not all clones are like that I had the tripod didn't I tank that I bought a, a copy and it was it was rubbish and now I know that the tripod, the proper one, wouldn't have been. And it, it was giving me a like I think it was burning one of the insulators somehow. And I ended up throwing it in the bin. I got fed up with it. But yeah, and the one thing is with the reload I would say, Asphodel, um you know, the, the original one, the genuine one like this, is I think thirty nine quid. So it's not crazy money it's not like 120 pound that you're getting a 15 pound clone for i get that completely get that but the you know i don't know how much the clone was but 40 quid for the for the original genuine one i think you know i wouldn't myself i wouldn't buy a clone if the difference was only that small um as for the again is that a custom wrap on the Molly Cell P26A? I have eight of them and none of these look with those markings. What was that in the billet box? No. It's just how it came. 
More clones. <laughs> That's what I told you. Um, ping it out of there. Does yours not look like that? Monocell P26A and on the back like that. They should all should look like that. I don't know why yours wouldn't. Well, they changed, maybe they changed. The, the print's quite an old one. That was, you know, I've, I've had that some time, that battery. Kenny 2000. Oh, hang on. I haven't taken Asphodel's comment off. Right, now get back to this one. Kenny, hi, mate. Have you got a blue true tank kicking about? to have a look at or to have, uh, to have a little look I not sure I think are they on the site I think we've still got some I think there's still there's not many if we have um, in fact we haven't got that many true tanks altogether there's quite a few black ones I think but stainless steel are now getting low um, so in a way I'm pleased in another way I don't want to run out for people I am trying to get uh, get them restocked because I don't think they'll make another batch of the true tank. I think once these are gone, I think that'll be that'll be it. But I don't want to scare everyone. Don't worry about it just yet. If you think to buy another one, don't panic. Uh, Asphodel ten actually. Oh, you got ten of them, right? Yeah, I think you're right, Pav. Um, <laughs> dog's barking. Likely the USB port was removed together with the charge circuitry, saving a lot more space inside. I think that's what it is, but they have now managed to get it in. But having taken one of the billet boxes apart with the USB, it is tight. It is tight. Merck, good evening. And Merck, I used to be 316 stainless steel, temperature control only, but then I tried squonking and learned about how learned how to manage my juice stroke flavor hit ironically i'm using loss vape and mirage and dual intake with a dual a1 22 gauge 65 watt at the moment yeah so you've gone on canthal um yeah yeah great i mean stainless stainless i think you know We've all got different ideas. I flick from NI80 to sometimes stainless steel. What did I put stainless steel in the other day? I think it was this. I think that's the Futun. Futun Dripper. I think it's got stainless steel in. Pretty sure it has. So, yeah, I mean, it's it's whatever you like. Um, some people... Are, in the early days, it was canthal, 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 and I think again that's now gone full circle. A lot of people are, are preferring canthal again. Oh, grumpy old vapor says Dico's overhyped, overpriced. Possibly they are. Possibly. Lane Jackson running very late. <laughs> Good evening, Lane. Yeah, you. You've <laughs> ten minutes left, if that. I reckon. Never mind. There's always the catch up. <laughs> um, oh wow Asph Asphodel uh, received the intake jewel today which you got in a giveaway it's fantastic yeah that's that's another one that you know would be quite nice to try I think and J Jerry hello good evening um, wow I just had a look 52 in chat only sometimes <laughs> thanks Pev <laughs> only sometimes and a bit slow Mark it's the Norfolk factor Pev I'm not slow at drinking as you well know so I'm alright there <laughs> uh, Paul about the garter so look airflow isn't super tight in the garter tight enough but you can't restrict it like a K phone or even the reload yeah and that's probably where I am I'm, I'm not a lot of people, I think the people that go from direct lung to mouth to lung sometimes want quite an airy mouth to lung. I'm quite restricted. On the true tank, I have it on the middle hole of five. So that's a, what I've um, gone by memory now, 1.2 mil hole. 
0.8, 1 mil, 1.2, yeah, that's right. <laughs> Trying to remember. But you see, I mentioned earlier about subconsciously, what do we vape? And I've probably been vaping that and the reload more than anything tonight, those two. Yeah, I've got the Bantam, the Glaz. <laughs> you know, they're all sit sitting in front of me, so it's quite, quite funny. If you try and switch your brain to not think about it and then realise what you've done afterwards. It's quite strange. I know what I mean. Norfolk Pace, that's it Pav. Yeah, Norfolk born, uh, Norfolk bred, strong in the arm, thick in the head, isn't it? I think that's what we are in Norfolk. <laughs> um, Merck, oh Asphodel, how the hell is it not gargle or flood? It's bloody awesome. And that was about what? What, what, what? Oh, that was the intake jewel, was it? I think. Um, people saying hello to Jay Jerry. And thanks, Daniel. I'll put that one on the screen because it's important. <laughs> if you've enjoyed the show tonight, please feel free to give a thumbs up. We've got 27. We're not done bad. 27 thumbs up. I've got my thumbs up here. There it is. <laughs> I think that thing's great. <laughs> little things, little things. Um, and Asphodel, I've never seen anyone complaining about the intake dual gurgling. Went great from the first try to me. Yeah, and that's getting back to what I said earlier. Some tanks you just like throw a build in that you always have done and wick it like you always have done. And they just work straight away. And other ones you seem perhaps to fight with a lot. You, you know, you think, ah, oh, it's not quite right yet. Do I need to heighten the coil? Do I need shorter wicking? Uh, you know, and they never, ever seem to be right once you start off on a bad track. I don't know. Maybe it's, maybe it's me. Um, still the Asphodel and Merck still in chat talking about their tank. <laughs> Um, I'm not sure I understood that. I just read through it twice. I didn't quite get it. Well, yes, they look like this mark, but you had one with a big plus and mine. Oh, I see. Did I? What other? I didn't show another Molly cell, did I? I don't think. You got me confused, Asphodel. It is late. I've had a long day today. It's been a tiring day. And Carol, Carol says she is new, and thank you. Good to be here. Yeah, good to good to have you in chat, Carol. Um, we don't do drama here, just friendly chat. <laughs> Are you UK, Carol, or overseas? We get quite a few from overseas. Um, quite a few from uh, US on here as well, which is nice. And Merck, let's put that one on there. I'm all in with 27100 mod squonk, stroke squonk. So intake on the wooden version of the Mirage is sexy as hell, but mod I, but mod I own. I'm not sure at that end bit, but yeah, I mean that's squonking's good. And and I was look, I did a, um, I've just seen Matt Benson uh, there is in chat uh, mention my, I think my video up the YouTube review that I did on the Quiddy 3D printer and someone last week mentioned a site to go and have a look at and I did and it sort of gets you gives you the bug doesn't it and you think well should I design a 3D mod then <laughs> battery mod shall I design one and I don't know I might it's interesting thing do it get interested in things like that trouble is I've got quite an obsessive character when, once I start, I'd, I'd have to keep going till I've seen it through. Uh, true V2, agree 100%. Who said that then? James Castle. Oh, true V2. True V2. The thing is, James, that 
The only thing I think I would change with the true tank is the way it fills at the top. That's all I would change. The rest I'm really happy with. And that is easy to fill. It's just aesthetically I think that could have been done better than that. And that would probably... What else, what else would you change on a V2? I don't know. Maybe someone would say something else. But, you know, it, everything else to me works really well. Thanks, Kieran. True V2, 100% agree. Um, oh, the other thing that was mentioned on the show last week, and Kieran will remember this, was someone said, get these two, or these two flavours, the Nata. Focus in, focus in, focus in. Concentrates. And also the Pistache which I've got as well as a concentrate. Now I have mixed them both up. There's that one, which I've just peeled the label off and put it on the front. And that's the pistache, which is a little bit darker. So they were only mixed up on, I think, Friday night. So they're not ready yet, but I will try them and perhaps have a chat about them next week. So I know Kieran liked the raspberry one, I think. <clears throat> and J. Jerry, I use stainless steel for high watts and canthal for low watts. Yeah, that's, that's probably not a bad call, actually. Um, probably not a bad call at all. David Salford. Uh, Mark, just reminded me, are the 510 pins in for the Aquamaster R RDA? Is, or so I can do the review. They are, David. Yes, they have arrived. So from now on, anyone who buys the Aquamaster RDA, this one, it will come with a, a normal, as well as a squonk pin, it will come with a normal 510 pin as well. I don't think it will stop me doing a review, will it, David? Or do you want it? It doesn't bother me. If you'd ra rather not use it as a squonker, let me know and I'll pop you one in the post. Uh, Keith, thanks for confirming my thoughts. What thoughts was they? I don't know. What have I done? What have I, what have I confirmed? Perhaps about the true tank, what changed? I don't know. And J. Jerry, yeah, I've already said hello. Uh, Grey Vapor, agree with you about the clones. Let's put that up there. Agree with you about the clones, but on the other hand, I get a chance to use that kit that I would not normally get a chance of using. 100% agree, Grey Vapor. Um, I'm not going to lecture anyone about clones, and as I said, who am I to? Um, the way I see clones, a lot of it, is if you think you'll fancy vaping something buy the cloned one by all means try it if you think oh, i really like this then you might want to spend the 120 quid or whatever buying the genuine so yeah i don't blame it vaping with james just got myself the reload mouth along rta clone and the airflow is too tight for my taste and well going back to that i mean i just James, I just unscrewed this one and I can direct lung it. So, you know, it's a mouth to lung that you can direct lung. You know, it's got to be the clone. The clones have got to be, you know, not like the original in this instance, I would say. <laughs> J. Jerry, yeah, you vape what worked best when you don't think about it. You do, you do, J. Jerry. I'm glad you understood what I mean, because it's hard to explain. Subconsciously, you pick up what you like, like in my hand at the minute, look. <laughs> and you do, you really do. Oh, is this a bit late for a technical question? Matt Benson, Mark, what, what's your opinion on the whole air compression? Big air holes, small deck hole theory. Klaus Jadelski is always on about it. Klaus, yeah, I know Klaus. So I invited him in the sh on the show and he, he said yes and then said he had to see his mum or something. <laughs> um, I'm not sure what his argument is. Um, 
my argument is is that with the are you, you're talking about mouth to lung I assume um, I don't agree with the big air hole no I don't um, no not at all I believe that balance is best so that I think I've read this right so that the I use the 1.2 mil hole on the true tank here which comes through I'm going by memory a 1.5 mil hole on the tank base I think that's 1.5 and then through to the top is I think it's 3 mil up the chimney the center so it's balanced and I do see some people trying to do a mouth to lung tank and they've got a great big hole here a, a 1.5 mil hole perhaps under the coil or they've got a small one here and a big hole under the coil to me it doesn't work you need with mouth to lung you need that quite intense airflow hitting the bottom of that coil in my opinion um, but I don't know what Klaus has been saying. I was going to be rude then, but I'm not going to. Um, yeah, I don't know what he's been saying, uh, but balance is my opinion. Oh, grumpy old vapor, that's a bit harsh. Norfolk, mouth breathing, slow blink rate, club foot, hair lipped with fingers. Well, there's no hair lip. <laughs> There's no webbing, <laughs> and I don't know about the slow blink rate. Perhaps I could, perhaps I could try that. <laughs> Grumpy old paper, how oh, harsh. <laughs> um, and Merck, he prefers Canthal now as lowest coil lag in mix and single batteries more rigid. Yeah, stainless steel. The problem with stainless steel is the the ohms are all over the place. They depending on how hot the coil is, they up and down the, the ohms. So Canthal is more stable. And Bev, he's got, he's got OCD. I fight with every tank or dripper. We don't fight with the true tank, Pav, because I was chuffed to see that that was what you were vaping when I bumped into you um, at the expo, the last expo. Not this one, just gone the one before in March. Uh, Asphodel got a bail. Have a nice thing. Sorry for the spams. <laughs> no, it's all right. There's no spams. Um, thanks for popping by. I think we're all about to pop off. Um, Jay Jerry, I got the intake jewel too tight air for Blotto. Blotto is better than FP best is. Um, yeah, I've, I was looking at my FP. Incidentally, talking about the FP, I've now managed to buy... I was struggling to get bubble glasses for them. Um, as we know, they used to break quite regularly. I've now got stock. I've basically wiped blitz out of all their bubble glasses for them. So they are now back in stock. So looking into the future, anyone who bought the FP off me, which is a lot of people, um, they will continue to be able to get bubble glasses for the foreseeable coil uk he's off he's off to watch the news as terrorists gone look at that four minutes past ten wow uh, where's the time gone tonight um and yeah kieran likes the nata frambosia uh, is amazing for me well I, i'll be interested to try that did you mix the pistache at 30 percent um Yes, I did. I mixed it what they what they thought was thirty percent. Incidentally, on that um, Matt, I was thinking that's a bit naughty, really, isn't it? Because if you have to mix it at thirty percent, that means that there's the concentrate. To me, they've just put almost like watered that down with PG. Um, I don't know, maybe not. But if they have, it's a bit naughty. Um, but we shall see. Um, sorry David, yeah, he's waiting for the pin, uh, but could have done it last week. Oh right, Keith, yeah, that was about the DNA and the canthal. All right, Keith. <laughs> Grumpy old vapor, 6am here, sun's up, got a 
Got the dog for a walk shortly before it gets too hot. Bloody clock's changing there. The UK spoils my viewing. Yeah, well, I don't want it either. I think they should leave the clocks. Um, I hate it when they go back. It's depressing. Getting dark at like half three, quarter four. Who wants that? <laughs> Keith, Mark, you were thinking mummy's boy. Hmm. Possibly. <laughs> Uh, the airflow thing is about maximum air pressure onto the coil or something. I don't know. I think I've watched a few of his reviews and he does tend to overcomplicate, I think, in a way, or come out with his own theories. But, you know, yeah, it's, it's, it's not as easy to come out with a theory and a principle if you haven't done anything and you're looking at what other people have done but you know I, I don't i haven't heard what he's on about and maybe i need to go and have a listen but to be honest it was just a bit of a niggle to me that he wouldn't come on the show um for some reason well i know the reason but it doesn't matter and merc if china did a mouth to lung airflow bosh um, that as you change the airflow control on the outside, it changed the airflow under the coil, it would be a game changer. Yeah, I guess it would. Um, yeah, maybe that's the next next bright thing. Futoon came pretty close to that uh, with one of their tanks, didn't they? Um, it was like sold as a, I've got one somewhere, there's a mouth to lung and a direct lung, but to me it, it just didn't work. Um, and also dam vape did it with a freesia and that didn't work to me either but i know what you mean so if you change the airflow at the bottom that natural on a mouth to lung and it changed it on the inside too yeah it would it would be a bit of a game changer wouldn't it yeah good good thinking Merck. thinking outside the box you see that's what we need and Jay, we must close this off in a minute guys <laughs> Checked out a build around 0.1 to 0.14, stainless steel alien around 100 watts. So wide open. It. Yeah, I mean that's it would be for that. Would be for that. Pav. There you go. See, I knew he had at least one. I have two true tanks on the go at the moment, Mark. Ser oh yeah, serial 316. Uh, fill the lemon drizzle and serial 113 with Scorpus. Yeah, because we've done that, haven't we? Didn't mind 317 or something. So look. No, three one five. <laughs> Everyone thought that was staged, didn't they? Can we see that? Oh, wrong way, Mark. Three one five. At the, right at the bottom there. Just see it. It's been used so much. Um, yeah, it's from right the early days, and I just just stuck with it. Nothing's broken. Nothing's moved. So it's fine. I've also got serial treble one and that's still in the box. It will always stay in the box. Maybe I'll get it out and show you one, guys one day. Um, Daniel, thank you to Mark and all for a great show. Good night, Lynn. Yep, good night to everyone. Yep, thanks, Daniel. And good nights, good nights, good nights. Done it. Yay, caught up. And yeah, Kieran as well. So, um, yeah, I only normally go till 10 o'clock. It's now nine minutes past. So, th wow, 34 thumbs up. Thanks, guys. I uh, uh, appreciate that. That's, that's brilliant. A little bit of prompting, but they're still there. <laughs> so, as always, as I said to you, massive thanks for all the subscribers I've got now. Three th it's just fantastic. I'm amazed. Um, and thanks, everyone in chat, for your comments. been good tonight again. Uh, thought we might not have that much to talk about, but as usual... The time flies, and to all our new guests, um, Carol and someone else I thought was new as well. But anyone who is new, welcome, and uh, as usual, hopefully, see you next Tuesday night. Till then, guys, take care, see you soon. Bye for now. <laughs>